Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number two with me Craig Barton. Now following last week's return of the Resource of the Week feature where we looked at a really interesting technique for using Tarsier Jigsaw software in a different way I felt a certain amount of pressure to keep this high standard of resources going but I needn't have worried because the quality of stuff that gets uploaded to the TES Maths every single week it absolutely blows me away and my only difficulty has been deciding which particular resource to showcase but seeing as we're approaching this time of year where year 11s have gone, year 13s have gone perhaps your end of year assessments for 7, 8, 9 and 10 are almost out of the way and the big stack of markings done Perhaps you're looking for something different to do in your lessons, maybe some kind of project. And sometimes we do things on statistics, and sometimes we get the kids creating things. And this year we're just looking for something a bit different, see, you know, see if anything was out there. And then I stumbled upon this resource and it, all my prayers were answered. So we're using it in our school and I thought it'd be nice to share just in case uh, it may go down well in your school as well. And it's this, the Maths Code Breaking Ciphers big resource pack that has been kindly uploaded by another of my favourite uploaders, Andrew Chambers. And you know you're in for a treat here because straight away there's 36 pages of resources there. Um, Probably the best thing to do is just to crack it open and, and I'll show you what's going on here. What I particularly love about this resource is you get a lot of teacher support with it and a lot of background information. So um, the general idea is it's a, a series of lessons or activities or, or, or pro a project on code breaking, but not just one particular type of code breaking, a load of different type of code breaking. And the kids get background material, they get things to investigate, things to solve. It's ab absolutely superb. And um, what I particularly like as well is this, lesson plan example. So Andrew doesn't just dump the resource on you and say, make of it what you will. It gives you a couple of ideas to get you started. So here's, oh, sorry, excuse me, here's a way of, um, running lesson one on a um, Morse code generator. So there's a link to a video, there's a brainstorming session, and there's a way of introducing it. And then there's an excellent worksheet um, that really, really challenges the students and get them get some working in groups. And then that's followed up by lesson two, which is on binary codes. Um, and again, you've got some nice stimulus material. But as we get into the resource, it just gets better and better. So there's a bit of background information about why we should study codes in mathematics that you can present to the students. And then, I mean, I, I love code breaking, but I, I didn't realize there was this, this amount of stuff out there. Caesar shifts, I've heard of those, so I, I was thinking, yeah, I'm all right with this one. Transposition ciphers, <sighs> flipping heck, a bit more of encryption here. I don't know how to say that word properly, so I'm not gonna embarrass myself by attempting it. Then we got a bit of ISBN codes. And again, notice each of these have a bit of background and a few activities for kids to try. Credit card codes, absolutely f um, fascinating stuff. Enriched number puzzle, look at that, that's a toughie. Then we get into the world of NASA aliens and binary codes, and it's absolutely phenomenal stuff. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tackle one of these um, every lesson with the kids, and we're gonna get a bit of a, a challenge going. We're gonna get the kids into groups, and see how they get on with each of these particular challenges, give them marks, and have a bit of a code leaderboard going on to see who our best code solvers are. And I'll tell you what I love as well, this builds up and builds up and builds up. So there's loads and loads and loads of stuff going on. And then at the end you get two murder mysteries, which again, no surprise here, are, are all to do with codes. So once the kids have gone through all these lessons, they then get the chance to put it all together and notice it's been uh, it's been done on Word, so it's completely editable, so you can uh, make it relevant to your school. And then all the murder mystery clues require all the skills that the kids have picked up as they've been working through these series of code lessons. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal stuff. And you get to the end of one murder mystery with answers, I should say as well, which is always a bonus. And then you get another murder mystery. It's absolutely brilliant. And look at those with a bit of flags on the go there. But I'll tell you what, that's not even the end of it. Um, I should say as well that Andrew's provided a PowerPoint to go with the murder mystery and again it's fully editable so you can uh, you can you can change that around but if I just go back um, to actually to the top of this you notice uh, you'll notice that he's hyperlinked to um, to Andrew's own website if I just go to that you'll see that he's got really nicely laid out all the videos that he mentioned so with a uh, good old Marcus there and I think further down here we have one from uh, James Grime at, at number file. So there's loads of stuff. It's all it's all ready to go for you if you just kind of sit down with your department and plan out how long you want it to last. 
we've we've put together a series of six lessons based on this so it's two weeks worth of work and we're, we're absolutely sorted and I, I just can't wait to can't wait to get it start get started on it and if you want a bit more background information on codes if you just google tes uh, maths blog and that takes you to a page that looks a little bit like this and whilst i'm here um, i have to say if you haven't listened to ts maths podcast nine with andrew blair i'd strongly recommend it it's one of the most inspiring uh, people I, i've ever talked to so a little free plug there but if you scroll down the uh, ts maths blog you'll see here code breaking in maths and andrew's written kind of a companion piece to go alongside this resource about why he feels code breaking is important and the different skills that it brings out and problem solving and group discussion and and the rich history of codes and how it goes right from Turing right up to the modern day when we're talking about credit cards and internet security and all that so look it's an absolutely brilliant resource ideal for any time of the year but particularly special for this this time of year where we're looking to give pupils something different to try so if you like it and you find it useful please uh, pop onto the blog page in the comments below and even just to say thank you to to andrew or share some ideas how you've used it and i'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now